Hey guys, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video, topic 5.12, Introduction to Sustainability. Okay, so in the previous video we talked about ecological footprints, and so in this one we're going to talk about another quote-unquote measurement um, talk, uh, named sustainability. And the idea is that sustainability is going to be how we measure these resources, but not just resources, it's going to be about how to maintain these resources for future generations. Um, and of course, the good thing about this one is it's not just focused on those resources, it's on the other things that might cause a long-term issue or problem with those, okay? And so a way to estimate these things is by looking at different factors that would affect sustainability. So that's gonna be your biodiversity, that's gonna be the amount of food that can be produced. It's also gonna be looking at bigger global pictures such as CO2, um, surface temperatures for climate change, and of course, human population, because ultimately, kind of the biggest source of environmental problems is going to be how many people there are, and of course, how much resources they're taking. And so if they're, if you can measure the population and kind of slow that down, then you can end up slowing down resource depletion um, long term. Okay. And so when we look at this, we're looking at a concept that we've visited briefly before called sustainable yield. Um, this is the idea that we're looking at uh, sometimes we take too much and we can end up having a source that was renewable um, become non-renewable. Um, and so this goes to be many examples. Like the example we talked about in a previous video was fish. And if you overfish that, then it can become a um, non-renewable resource or end up being depleted completely. Um, trees have been a good example of this with clear cutting. And of course, you can do this with food crops if you over harvest and with soil because you can deplete the nutrients of the soil, okay? Um, and that's gonna lead to long-term problems as well. We've seen that in the past with situations like the Dust Bowl. So here's an example again with fish, right? The idea is that if you think of this as a curve, right, we wanna be kind of in the middle of the curve here. We wanna be able to look at the sustainable yield where we've taken enough to feed the people or to make profit, but we've left enough to maintain for next generations and, and continual generations. So that's going to be what we call the optimal yield. Now you can underutilize, which is still not a bad thing, but if you're looking at maybe something called subsistence where you're you know trying to capture enough to feed yourselves, that's going to be um, a problem. So you want to make sure you go to that optimal yield and not so much to the overfishing. When you get to overfishing, you won't leave any behind and then this whole curve will collapse. So here's some other resources you could use. Hopefully these will be helpful and hopefully this was as well. So thank you very much.